Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Answers. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. We have uh, lots of videos on here about GIS mapping using ArcGIS Pro and Quantum GIS. And uh, also lots of uh, videos about Bigfoot, and big, Bigfoot sightings. And that's what we're doing today. We're looking at uh, the state of Ohio. We'll be looking at big, Bigfoot sightings and uh, looking at uh, the BFRO website in more detail uh, in order to get some more, more information on some of these sightings. So what we, what we do have is the sightings in yellow and the yellow points. The state of Ohio in this purple color. We have state boundaries, which are quite useful. And that's the way that the BFRO has sorted much of the data. And we have USA parks, which have national and state parks, regional, county, and local level parks. Also uh, state forests and national forests. So the more we zoom in, the more detail we could get. We also have um, Im uh, world imagery and the hybrid reference layer associated with that. So the more you zoom in, you get road names and place names and road labels, state, state uh, like highway and county road numbers. So we'll turn on the Bigfoot layer. We also have uh, the Bigfoot layer. They, they have either an A or a B labeled. And A's refer to uh, visual sightings of a Bigfoot. B's refer to evidence such as wood knocks, footprints, vocalizations, nests, or any other evidence that could support the fact that Bigfoot, Yeti, Sasquatch, Skunk Ape, or whatever you want to call him or her, exists. So let's zoom out. To the state of Ohio. We have major cities, Cleveland in the north, Akron, Columbus, Dayton, and Cincinnati. We have state parks, and forests, and the green. Mainly in the southeast of the state. Let's turn on the Bigfoot sightings layer from the BFRO, downloaded from the Esri GIS hub. And let's have a look to see if we can find any clusters of points. And I would say there's a cluster of points here in the, the county of Guernsey. Perhaps named after the island between England and France, maybe. But anyway, you can see there's a cluster of points within Salt Fork State Park. So let's have a look at some of these. Uh, let's go with a state. Uh, with, let's go with a Class A sighting to start with. May 2013, sighting of two animals walking a ridge line in Salt Fork State Park. So we're going to flip back the BFRO website. And again, what was the date? May 2013. May 2013, Class A sighting. Then I knew what I was looking at on top of the ridge. There was two Bigfoots, and they were black and huge. I tried to catch up with them to get a picture. These things were walking fast, and once they got to the bottom of the ridge, they took off into the bush. But I did manage to get one good picture. You can see in the picture the one turned to look 
to see if I was still trying to follow them. When the one turned to look back, he had to turn his whole top half of his body with his left arm going across his chest to look back at me. I tried to follow them, but once they got in the brush, I could not hear or see them. But I got a great look at them. I got a great look at them. So that looks like it's the photo. Um, I don't really see anything there. The surrounding woods. This is a photo of some eye shine. And oh, this is great. This is a good little photo of uh, a possible nest. quite good. Flipping back to the photo, uh, back to the GIS map. Let's have a look at another Class A sighting. August 2004. While picnicking in the early evening, a couple has a sighting at Salt Fork Park. August 2004. My wife and I were having a picnic supper at Salt Fork Park on August 18, 2004, approximately 7 p.m. After approximately 15 minutes, we decided to hike down a path into the woods with our dog. After, after progressing approximately 15 feet into the woods, we heard a, a loud, unexplainable no, uh, loud, unexplainable noises. The noises slash howls continued as whatever was making the noises seemed to be walking parallel with us. We were nearly 75 yards into the wooded area when we stopped and looked more closely to see what was making the noises. The noise we heard, the noise was heard again and I saw it and began shouting my wife, there it is, there it is. Together, we saw what appeared to be a nearly eight foot tall, dark covered subject looking at us. We watched it for about 10 seconds, and then it walked upright in a human form, deeper into the woods, away from us. Scared, we turned quickly and, ran, and walked out of the woods, hearing the noise several times behind us. We reached our picnic area, picked up our belongings, and that's when we heard it again, this time thunderously loud, and we knew it had followed us. And, and believe it was, and we believe it was in 50 feet, within 50 feet of us, still concealed in the woods. We grabbed our stuff and ran for our vehicle with our dog. It was the eeriest encounter we have ever had in our lives. Wow. Uh, 